everyone, and welcome to Ellsworth Public Library's Tips and Tricks for Beanstack. In our last Tips and Tricks tutorial, we showed you how to get registered. And so now that we have registered our family, um, it is time to maybe take a look at navigating um, some other portions of our Beanstack dashboard. So, once again, we go to ellsworthlibrary.beanstack.com org and it brings us to the library's landing page where we can again register or once we've registered as we did before we can just go ahead and click sign in now you can use your username or your email to get signed in so I could use the email with the account or I could use the username and then you put in your password and hopefully you remember that but if you forgot we'll have a quick tutorial later on how to fix that so we're going to go ahead and get signed in now when we have signed in we will find our here is our name in the upper right hand corner if you click on that it will show you the other readers associated with the account creator, which was the adult in this case, and then we had two um, younger readers that we registered last time. So all of your readers that are connected to you are here in underneath this button in the upper right corner. Now this is your dashboard. You can navigate through your dashboard using these tabs at the top. Now challenges shows you which challenges you are participating in currently. Um, later on, when you've been in a number of challenges, you can click here and find challenges you completed in before or challenges that you missed or did not participate in. The other, the next tab here is all badges. So over the course of your working in Beanstack, you will see all of the badges you earned over all of your different challenges. And in our last tutorial, we registered for Frozen February Fun, so we have earned that badge so far. And then our third tab, Reading Log, will bring up a calendar and show you, with a green dot next to the dates, all of the different dates that you have logged reading. Now, I want to make it clear and tell you that at Ellsworth Public Library when you are doing a challenge, the library doesn't really care if you log every day or not. If you want to keep track some other way, um, for example, let's say we know we've been read at least 20 minutes every day, and if we don't get a chance to log until today, February 20th, we could go ahead and log 400 minutes for today if we go off of 20 minutes a day. So if you want to log every time you sit down and read because it's quick and easy for you, that would be great. But if it doesn't work for you to do that, you could log once a week. You could log at the end of the month. You could log in the middle. It does not matter to us when or how often you log. It's just making sure that you have all get all of the credit at some point for what you've done in a challenge. All right, so those are our tabs up here and the ways that you find um, those uh, different pieces of your challenges. And if at any time you can click over to a different reader, so here's our child who is in Frozen February Fun and Thousand Books Before Kindergarten, and you could take a look at their badges and their reading log and make sure that things are all set there. And you can also click over and look at any of your other readers. Here's our teen who's in the Frozen February fun as well. They have their registration badge so far, and we don't have any logged reading yet, but that's okay. All right, so that's how to get logged in and to find your different readers. And um, we will sign out and we will talk about logging, uh, reading, and activities in our next tutorial.